Brown, the 22-year-old sensation of South African swimming, is with me. Sanmonan, my Nijan. Yeah, but someone. He's a pillow, ain't it, Nijan? Ah, he's a pillow, baba. There you go. He's born in Durban. He got it out. And Miles, let's just talk a little bit about you because this swimming thing. When did it start for you? Sure, it started at a at a very young age for me. Um, I was always trying to get into the pool, even when I was a baby. Mom found me at the bottom of the pool a couple times, blew in the face, uh, trying to get through the the pool safety net. So. I think they made a conscious decision to uh, to get me to swimming lessons and learn how to how to swim. And it started out as water safety, and it grew from there. And mm. yeah, I've never looked back. Then, you were, and I say were, a 1500 meter swimmer. You were killing it at the 1500 <laughs> meters. You you're the guy that everyone thinks he's going to go far in this event. <laughs> and then you decide, ah, I'm done with that. Why? Yeah, I think it was killing me more than I was killing it, to be honest. But um. Yeah, I just felt my strengths lay in the, the 400 and 200 meter uh, freestyle event. So I was still a bit off international standards wise in the 1500. So yeah, I decided to to bring it down, focus on the 4x2 relay, the 400 free, the 4x100 relay. So it's kind of tough to get that endurance in, and the speed work. And I felt for me personally, it was better to to drop the distance down a bit. Now you beat Chad Leclerc. I mean, that's what everybody <laughs> would like. Now you're that guy who beats Chad Leclerc. <laughs> Yeah, no, look, we uh, we train together all the time. I mean, we're in the same squad and we continue pushing each other. And I think I think we've helped each other along the way. And, and that's what's awesome. And uh, yeah, t this this time I happened to to get away with the win and uh, he's won a lot against me. So I'm, yeah, I'm just happy that I got the chance to beat him. What was in the water in Durban? Because that's <laughs> where you beat Chad and you broke two South African records. No one really saw you coming in terms of those kind of performances. We expected you to be good, but to be beat a 19-year-old record, <laughs> tell us a little bit about what was going on in your mind, the planning, were you planning to do that kind of performance? No, not at all. Um, I just went out there to enjoy myself. I uh, went through a bit of a rough patch with my swimming last year. So, I mean, I took some time off, came back, and I just said to myself, look, I want to go out there and enjoy it. I don't want to put these expectations on myself and, and try and go too far ahead. So. Yeah, I kind of went in there with a relaxed mindset. Um, wasn't putting too much pressure on myself. And yeah, I think I kind of slipped under there. I mean, no one was really expecting anything big. And I think that's what helped me. There was no pressure. The big talk was Rake Nietzsche's record. 19 years ago, in 1999, he swam a time that no one else had been able to beat. And no one else has beaten since then. <laughs> you walk up to it in the pool in Durban. And there you go. And you're not just by a little bit. You beat it by some margin. Yeah, look, I mean, uh, Rake's been chirping me for a while now. He's, oh, he's gonna been, get yeah. my record. Yeah, he's been asking because I got his uh, two short course records in the 1500 meter record. So, yeah, it, it was time to get the, the long course, and I managed to do that. And I mean, he said, like, well done. And he's been, like, I think, yeah, I think he's wanted me to break it for a while. And yeah, I'm just glad I could eventually get it. Now, in this event in Durban, which was earlier this month, the big thing was not only bake breaking records, but Everybody's mind was on Russia. What's happening in Russia? When is it going on? What were you trying to do? Yeah, so the FINA World Long Course Championships are happening in Kazan, Russia. So it's the World Championships? Yeah, yeah. So that happens end of July, beginning of August. So, I mean, we had to try and get on the team and, and hit the qualifying standards. And for me, that was the main priority, was just to get on the team. And, and I managed to do that in the morning at the heats. And uh, yeah, I took some pressure off, and I was very happy with the results. What does it cost you, for instance, to keep competing over a season, you've got to be overseas for a certain number, you're here in South Africa, you're training. What does that cost? Yeah, look, it's, it, it's a lot of money. I mean, Ballpark, you don't have roughly uh, 10,000, oh, 100,000, a million? I would say close on 150,000 just for tours. That's without your monthly costs, which I would say come to about 10,000 a month. Mm. I mean, that's training, that's getting in your supplements, your gym work, and so all you that. Need Somewhere around half a million rand a year, plus yeah, minus, in order yeah. to just be competitive. Yeah, that's that's being able to go on and train overseas and race race at the big meets, and and that's what it's about. It's it's about getting out there and racing the the big names and swimming because, I mean, we're not as strong. We're growing, which is great, but yeah, we we want to go out there and race the best, and and if we can beat them, great. Can we? Yeah. At the Olympic Games <laughs> in 2016, will you be up amongst those names that are named? Will you be uh, 
the next Chad uh, Leclo, the next uh, uh, Michael Phelps. Is that you? Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's that's every swimmer's dream, and uh, that's what I'll be striving towards. Uh, I can't exactly say what's going to happen yet, but uh, that's what I'm working towards, and hopefully, I can get there one day. Who's your idol? Definitely between Michael Phelps and Grant Hackett. I mean, they just. Okay, we don't know the other guy. We know Michael okay. Phelps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. What uh, what Michael Phelps did for swimming uh, around the whole world, not just in America, was was unbelievable, and he broke so many records and and set really high standards and. I think he got a lot of young kids into swimming, which is, which is great to see. Hmm. 22 years of age, the man who is taking swimming by storm. You've seen him here on Sport at 10. We wish you all the best in Russia in September. Bring back the gold medal so we can have you here again. <laughs> Thanks very and much. And also, who dresses you? I mean, the, <laughs> the little bit of brown with the, the brown shoe and the brown belt. What a look. Oh, thanks very much. So, dress myself. Mommy doesn't do it, but uh, <laughs> i got to look good for you guys. <laughs> ah, you did. You did. You pulled out all the stops uh, for us today. Miles Brown.